Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to discuss something that is very important to understand in Figma when you want to create good interactive prototypes and that is the hover functionality. So I've seen some comments of people commenting on my videos that they don't really, they struggle to understand this whole hover thing in Figma. Let's go over this in detail for absolute beginners so that you're able to create better interactive prototypes. What is a hover functionality? When you move your mouse over an element and the element changing states, like for example in this case when I hover my mouse over this text object and this text object is being underlined with this blue line, that is a hover functionality. So you could say, you could, could define that this text object has a hover state where the blue line is being added beneath the object, right? That's essentially what hover is. How can you achieve something similar in Figma? Well, it is done through uh, the prototype panel over here and there are essentially two main ways to do this. Let's take a look at this first example. Here we have frame number one with a black square and frame number two with a black circle. How do we define that when you hover over the black square, the screen changes to the frame number two, essentially, where the object is being changed into a circle? How can we do that? If you go to prototype and then click on the square, meaning if you're setting up a, an interact that will react to you hovering over a certain element, you need to select that specific element and then connect this element in this way I'm showing you right now, pulling this arrow from this element onto the next frame, connecting it like this. You can see that it snaps. And I'm gonna say in the interaction details window that pops up right here, I'm gonna say while hovering. What this means, I think it's not really hard to guess what, what this means. While you'll be hovering over this black square, the frame number two will be shown on your screen, right? So let's test this out. I move my mouse over to the black square and you can see that it's being changed to the frame number two along with the square actually being replaced by a circle. When I move back outside, I move back essentially, right? So that's why it says while hovering. If you wanted to do a situation where you move your mouse inside the black square area and then when you move back outside you don't want to revert back to the initial state, you'd have to change while hovering to mouse enter, right? That makes sense because it only concerns about a mouse entering an area and it says nothing about any condition it doesn't say while hovering or while being, you know, whatever. There's just purely mouse enter. So upon mouse entering, you move onto this frame. And then you could set up, for example, that when you actually select this number two and connect that back and you set mouse enter, navigate to frame one, you could also, I think it's clear what's gonna happen, right? If I hover over this square, I move over here and then nothing happens until I hover my cursor over the number two, which then immediately takes me back to frame number one. So that's one way of doing things, one way of setting up a hover interaction. Uh, I think for the simplicity of this, it's important to remember just the while hovering interaction that essentially says, while I hover over this area highlighted by the black square, I'm being moved over here. But while and only while I'm doing that. That's the reason we revert back, right? Let me know in the comments if anything is unclear. And then we have a situation number two. So let's say you have two frames, but you would want this whole thing happening, what I just showed you, just taking place within a single frame. How can you do that? Well, you can do something like that through a thing called interactive components. And if you don't know what components are, make sure to check out my channel where I did a video on components and instances. It's quite important for understanding this workflow. Essentially, what we're doing here is isolating this interaction that's happening across frames in this case. We are isolating it within a single element, within a single component, interactive component, that's being used on this frame. So let's just launch the prototype from here and see what's, what's happening. You can see that when I hover my mouse over the blue square, it changes to a circle and then when I move back outside, it reverts back while staying only within one frame. And the reason for this 
is that we we kind of define this special object by also connecting one variant of this object to another variant of this object and saying that while hovering change to this state of this special object so while you hover over this area wherever this area may be i may place it here for example again right i will show you then what happens so while i'm hovering over this object change the object to this state so what ends up happening then is wherever you place this special object it can be on frame number one frame number two when you'll then hover over this object it's going to change to the state that you just define right so this is kind of what you can see is happening on the screen right now and if for example this were a button right so let's let's just go one step further i'm gonna create a button i'm gonna use auto layout this is actually really not important you can ignore what i'm doing on the screen right now but here we have a very simple button right and let's turn this button into a special object into a component and then let's create another variant of this object and this variant of the object is gonna be blue right and we're gonna go to prototype select the first variant i'm gonna click and drag like this connect that to the second variant and say while hovering change to property variant 2 and then when i go to assets i place the button here on this frame again then go here you can see we have a button and now when i hover over the button it changes color and that's how you set up hover states hover interactions in figma there are two ways to do this you can do that across frames and within frames by using interactive components. And remember to use while hovering and not mouse enter to get the actual functionality that you need. If there is anything unclear in the video, let me know in the comments below. And if this video helped you understand what's hover and how to use hover interactions in Figma, please leave a like. And also check out my channel if you're into UX and UI. I do plenty of videos about creating interactive components and prototypes in Figma. Thanks for tuning in and I will see you in the next one.